Hello, hello, and welcome back to Inspirations, where you can find encouragement to inspire a life. This is Dana Susan Beasley of AngelArts.biz, and I'm continuing a series on falling in love with the bridegroom. Before I get started, if you would like to get my complete falling in love with the bridegroom devotional for free, check the link in the description below. This devotional will teach you how to have quiet times and give you ample scriptures to spend in devoted study to our Lord and with our Lord. Now let's get to today's devotional and I'm going to start with prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you are more precious than silver and more beautiful than gold. That you help us to be on the path of understanding Help us to love you and honor you in all we do. In your precious name I pray. Amen. So today I'm going to read from Proverbs 3. And I'm going to read down to verse 12. I do suggest that you read the whole chapter. But I don't want to take the time to read all of it. It's quite long. I need to take a sip of water. My throat's dry as usual. Alright, I'm going to read from the New International Version. And, friends, this is the word of the Lord. My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing, and your vats will brim over with new wine. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline, and do not resent his rebuke, because the Lord disciplines those he loves as a father, the son he delights in. So from this passage, what can we glean the bridegroom is like as I take take a sip of water? Here are some thoughts that I hope will encourage you. First of all, he delights in his beloved, in you and me. Therefore, he disciplines us. He corrects us. He gives us length of days, life and peace to those whose heart keeps his commandments. He makes our path straight. When we live in fear of him and turn away from evil, it results in healing a body and refreshment to our bones. Honoring him with the first fruits. Let me start that again. Honoring him with the first fruits of our produce results in abundance. So what is our response? I wrote down to honor him, fear him. Write his commandments on my heart, trust him with all my ways, and definitely honor him with the first fruits of what we bring in. So, that is going just to be short. Again, I am still suffering from insomnia, so I appreciate your prayers. So, But I hope that that encouraged you, and I'm going to end in prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you that you you help us, you discipline us, you correct us because you love us. Help us to honor you. Help us to seek you and ask your help, and to write your commandments in our hearts and to honor you with our first fruits and i pray this all in your precious name amen okay so that's all for today's devotional tomorrow i'll continue my series on falling in love with the bridegroom and in fact 
just a little heads up, tomorrow I start, let's see if I'm right. Hold on. Tomorrow, yep, I start a series in Song of Solomon. Because you can't talk about the bridegroom without talking about Song of Solomon. So I would say definitely, probably not for little children. This is more of a older teen and young adult in mar whatever, you know. Uh, anyway, I'll tell you more about it tomorrow. But we're going to be starting a little series in Song of Solomon. Okay, so that's enough of my uh, rambling on. And I'm going to encourage you that if you would like to go deeper into the scriptures, find out more in my Becoming God's Bride Bible study. This Bible study is different. It's not what I call crank the blank. It's not just writing verses over and over again. It's actually studying the Bible and analyzing it. And then you will come to your own conclusions. The Holy Spirit leads you to convictions to become closer to him and to come become closer to your relationships on this side of heaven. So if you'd like more information, check the description box below. It's not much of an investment, probably less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks. So with that, I'm going to leave you with my favorite blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. This is Dana Susan Beasley of AngelArts.biz. Together, may we reach new heights in our lives and beyond.